And now I'm going to hand over for the next session to somebody else. We've um, uh, mentioned a couple of times today uh, the uh, supply chain. We're going to look now at the importance of a strong supply chain uh, in delivering excellence. Um, it's going to be led this session by a man many of you will know. Nigel Steen is chief executive of GKN. That's a £6 billion global engineering group. Employs around 44,000 people. He's also president of the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders and a member of the Automotive Council. He will step up here in a second, but before that, here's a short film. Well, good morning. Thank you. Um, as I hope you saw from the facts, and I thought that was perhaps an easier way to, to show them, to read them out, the UK really remains a significant force in manufacturing and engineering. I think we sometimes forget that. I'm here to examine one aspect of that, namely the supply chain, which for, accounts for much of the manufacturing activity in the UK. And as you saw, 125,000 companies, most are not household names, but they're still vitally important to the UK supply chain and the goods that the UK produces. Now, of course, I hope you noticed in the video background the subliminal advertisement for GKN. For those from overseas who don't know us, global tier one engineering company in automotive, aerospace, and off-highway markets. Sales are actually up to seven billion, I'm ha happy to say. 50,000 employees and 150 manufacturing plants around the world. And be it in drive shafts or powder metal parts for cars, lightweight composite aero structures, or power management devices for tractors and construction equipment, GKN is a market leader, helping our customers build the best planes, the best cars, and the best industrial equipment in the world. And like much of the supply chain, again, which you, you don't see their parts on the outside, I can tell you our parts literally drive nearly half the world's cars and keep many of the world's aircraft flying. And although we operate globally, we're very proud of being a British company and proud of what we do here in the UK, where we employ about 6,000 people. And we've been investing significant sums in the UK to back our view that the UK is a great place to do business and specifically to do business in the supply chain. Now I'm going to tell you why I think that and invite some colleagues from other UK-based supply chain companies to tell you why they think that too. We're focusing today on the automotive sector not just because it's GKN's biggest business, but because you'll be hearing from Marcus Bryson, who runs our aerospace business this afternoon. So we're, we're double dipping today at GKM. Um, supply chain makes or breaks automotive, and we heard that this morning. We're all enjoying the huge success of Team GB at the Olympics, but I've heard it often said after we've won a medal, it's not just the athletes themselves that lead to medals, but also the team behind them. And so it is with supply chain. Behind the winning cars produced in the UK lies a competitive supply chain. Now true, it's smaller than it once was, but it's now more focused and more competitive and returning to growth. So what is driving that growth and why is the UK an attractive place to invest in automotive supply chain activities? I'd highlight four factors amongst many. First, 
proximity, being close to the large and growing UK automotive market. <coughs> and clearly our UK presence for most supply chain has to fit in as part of a European footprint. But the UK itself is home to seven volume car manufacturers, six commercial vehicle manufacturers, 11 bus and coach builders, and 10 niche and specialist vehicle manufacturers, as well as having a strong and visible presence in motorsport and also construction equipment, as you've heard. Last year, 1.4 million cars were produced in the UK, and that's expected to have risen to over 2 million vehicles by 2016. And more than 75% of these vehicles are exported, making automotive 10% or more of the UK's total exports. So there's good growth, which provides an environment for success and profitable returns on investment. Second, I'd highlight the UK's flexible and skilled workforce. And let's look at flexibility. Life in the supply chain is subject to fluctuating demand. We don't decide what to sell in any given day or week. We have to respond to our customers' requirements. And with the auto industry's just-in-time environment, that means rapid changes in schedules, a lot more rapid than many might expect. And in line with other UK suppliers, GKN's UK workforce has demonstrated its outstanding flexibility in stepping up and stepping down production to meet customers' demand. And this flexibility is something that gives the UK real competitive advantage, particularly against our European competitors. As regards skills, along with most other developed countries, the UK's pool of engineering talent has shrunk. But fortunately, the pool is deep and the quality remains. However, I'm pleased that most UK companies have now recommitted themselves to skills and talent development through a resurgence in apprenticeships and graduate schemes, which bodes very well for the future. And there's a renewed enthusiasm for young people to go into the automotive industry with the schemes we run attracting a tremendous number of applicants. Third, I'd highlight the UK's culture of innovation and industry, supported by the new network of catapult centers and the academic networks, which we've just heard about. Innovation, engineering, and manufacturing in the nation's DNA. GCAM was around 250 years ago at the start of the first Industrial Revolution, and we're now preparing for what The Economist magazine is calling the third Industrial Revolution, a digital-based revolution, embracing such things as we heard this morning, 3D printing, additive manufacturing, and new materials and exotic shapes with unbelievable functionality. And the fourth and final key factor, I think, is a very supportive relationship with government. And this is in two senses. Both a business-friendly agenda, as witnessing by today's event, and also one which gives competitive tax rates and national and regional support for R&D investment, including, hopefully, a new initiative of above-the-line tax credits, giving immediate financial support for R&D. And there's also the well-supported Automotive Council, which is a government industry partnership tasked with sponsoring the automotive sector. This relationship is built on trust and shared values and works very well. So to the ministers and department officials here today, can I say thank you for your support and commitment. So there you have it, four key reasons why GKN continues to invest in the UK and why we're committed to playing our part in making the UK automotive supply chain successful. Now we're going to hear from three companies who also operate in the UK automotive supply chain, all with different perspectives. Schaeffler from Germany, Cab Automotive from the UK, and Calsonic Kansai from Japan. So can I please welcome, first up, Klaus Chiroki, Vice President of Engine Components at Schaeffler. Thank you.